Hello YouTubers and welcome to our videos and in this video we are going to show you how to defend against hackers. Yes, you are right. So as you know there are many hackers, thousands of hackers in your society, in your country and all over the website. So to be prepared for being, for not to being a victim of the hackers, sorry, for not to being a victim of the hackers, you must know the rules and regulation, the protocols and everything like that that hackers use today, nowadays. To hack your PCs and etc. like that to steal your passwords, visa card. So this is my series video, Defend Against Hacker Part One. So let's get started. So for being a hacker, you must know the hacking rules. If you know that someone is hacking and someone is messing your, and you will get a spyware message like Trojan is alerting antivirus. Your antivirus say that it's alerts popping up in your window and what you will get mad and you don't know what to do so stay tuned with us and we will let you know and how to be a hacker and how to defend against the hacker so let's get started first thing you need to know is a good scanner and a good antivirus and a spyware and a malware so there are three types of main that, that hackers use is to send your send a virus or malware or spyware through your internet account through your email addresses so you must be prepared that not to allow everyone to send your stupid antivirus something like that smartware the main the main source of the messages and the main source of hackers are nowadays using a small like this system types of messages like hi i am sarah and i am alone i have 1 million dollars and please reply with this mail and send your information so we will marry blah blah stuff like that so be prepared that these are all junks and all spamming and it will steal your IP address and if they steal your IP address and your IP is static if your IP is static I'm noting note that if your real IP is static they will hack you easily so for safety precautions so not to hack by a hacker you must have a good antivirus so I am using AVG 8.5 antivirus you are protected it says and always be prepared that you are just do your computer scan every two times a week so it will scan your whole file system files and remove any virus from your PC and always update your antivirus Please update your antivirus as soon as possible as you install it or you can download it from AVG antivirus. So my per I, my personal opinion is to use AVG antivirus instead of Norton antivirus. I will like I will like to tell to your our next video. So it's an AVG antivirus and you can use it. The next thing is malware. What are malware? It's an ad like that. Something like that. It is not that but I can show you there are some website this side on the right side you can see advertisement you can see sometime advertisement like this Burger King so there is in malware it says that security center is alerting we have new antivirus it's called antivirus 2009 so please click here and we will get you subscribe and scan it your PC don't ask that. Don't click here. Don't click there. Because it's in malware. What it will do, it will quickly, quickly install on your registry. In your start registry edit, I will show you. Here in your local computer, control panel, desktop, here. And in run, control panel, windows and run. So it will automatically boot up your PC. And it will lose your lose your control, make an fake administrator account, and destroy your files, like stuff like that, and making CHV host CH host heavier and make your PC slower than usual. So these kind of alerts are called malware, and they are very stupid kind of viruses. And I used to have many malwares, but after I use malware bytes. There is no virus malware left, so my opinion is to use a malware bytes antivirus. This is malware bytes anti malware. So you can click 
perform quick scan and scan it your PC. So this way you can remove all malware. So and use a good spyware too. If your AVG like I'm using antivirus that has is built in spyware. So it's a double opportunity and very good thing that to have a antivirus plus a spyware because there are many spying spywares on the market on the website. So okay, you can get a victim of a spyware it's usually like this you can open a paypal account or like that a message came to you enter your credit card number and like this it's called phishing itself so they are all wasting your time and money and don't be a victim of them so this is my first video of just a basic look how to defend against hacker for detail and extra stuff like that and so please be subscribe in my other video how to defend against hacker part 2 and part 3 I don't know how, how could I make because it's a very important and very useful topic so I can so it thank you for your time to, to take your time out there and well, listen to me so thank you for watching and hope you like my videos and sorry for my bad English and I'm not using any script I just make with this video from nowhere so sorry for that and thank you for watching i hope you like it and stay tuned for my second most important videos so thank you bye bye